Welcome to my channel, Faithy Diamond. If you get a chance, I'd like to uh, thumbs up if you like what I did today. And also, it would be great if you put a comment. Also, subscribe to me. That would be awesome. Today, we're going to um, finish my painting, um, or at least get a good section. I'm almost done on this one. It's called a Lakeside View, I believe. And it was, I think, 35 by 45. I'm pretty sure it is. And I got it off of Amazon, and I'll make sure that we have that posted. I got it covered up with the tape. But anyway, I'm almost done. I've got it charmed where you can see the uh, which part is, uh, this is the bottom and this is the top, and it's looking towards you. So I'm going to do it upside down. So I figured i just uh, diamond paint, and if you want to diamond paint with me, or if you just want to watch how we do it, so, I know there's a lot of people that are new to it, and they're not sure exactly how to do it. So, I'm going to go over here and get my diamond. The cameraman, you don't have to show that part. But, I'm going to go over there and get my diamond. And, I'm going to start placing my diamonds where they go. And, how you know where you put the diamond is by the legend along the side. And, that will have the, the uh, if it's like an arrow pointing up, or two dots, or whatever the symbolism is, you find the same symbolism. And then you match with the, the number, uh, what color that is, so you know which one to put down. So I'm going to go in and fill in the ones with the check marks. That's what one I'm on now. Kind of like green, but it looks like a gray color when you drop it. So anyway, it's been raining, raining here in Missouri. So I sure hope you're not getting flooded out like we are. My backyard looks like the swamp. So... My daughter is coming tomorrow to visit, and I told her you do not want to take out your dog in our backyard. There's no way. It is a mess. But great weather for diamond painting. Of course, I can't think of a time when there is a bad time to do diamond painting. That's how much I like doing diamond painting. So I'm going to go in here. Usually I do mine in sections. Some people go like the whole entire... Um, like they'll do just do one color, do the whole entire canvas. Um, they think that's easier, that's fine. I tried doing that somewhat and I didn't find it was any easier for me. I found it was easier just to do it by sections. So you do whatever you like better. And then every once in a while when I'm placing, it feels like it's not picking up. I've got my little thing of wax. And I'll put it down here so you can see it. And I just put it in this little container. And I just drop it in there a couple times. And hopefully, no, I didn't pick up. I don't know. Make sure there's nothing stuck in there. No, nothing stuck in there. I don't think it's picking up the wax either. Every once in a while I have that happen. But this is not messing up the view. It's sticky, but I don't know. It ain't sticking. Must be this rainy weather with the damp air. I don't know. <laughs> It's crazy. Usually I just have to stick it in there like once and we're ready to go. I didn't know. I had this problem the other day and I went and got a different pen. So I don't know if I got stretched out and didn't realize it. Now I'm going to go find me another pen. This is not picking up any of them. And we were picking up just fine. Technical difficulties. Try this one. I think that's my old one. I think that was the one that I worked with so long. So it wasn't working either. And I did quite a few diamond paintings with it. So I don't know if it gets stretched out or what. I'm not getting to pick up. Well, I'm gonna have. We're gonna definitely have to splice this. So I'm gonna stop and I'll be right back with you. I guess it was my uh, diamonds. Um, I, I went to a different color. I usually never have that problem, but I'm going to check them out later. I think it's the diamonds. It's nothing else that it could possibly be. Because I went through several pins, all did the same thing. And I hope not, because there's a bunch of that color. So I have a big bag of that color, so I'm hoping maybe if I pour it out again or mix it up. I don't know. So I don't know, like I was saying, Missouri has lots of rain. So it has been raining like cats and dogs here. Great time 
for diamond painters. Stay in the house, stay out of the wet. And then relax with your diamond painting. So also, uh, if you've got recommendations on what you would like to for me to unbox or uh, do diamond painting with, just let me know. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you leave me a message. And uh, this diamond painting, you have to change so many colors. You really can't use a placer. I'm talking about like more than one diamond um, at a time. There's not really a lot of places here. You're much better off with just doing the single placer, which would, the pin that I have now that only places one at a time. And we're going to town on this. Yeah, I'm hoping those diamonds are okay. If not, we will figure it out. And I hope you guys are having a great day today, wherever you're at, what kind of weather you're having. And I think I'm going to tonight make another video besides this one. We won't have it uploaded yet, but I think we're going to do some more unboxing. Especially now that I have this one almost done. I should be able to get it done tonight. If I stay up, my daughter's going to be driving in. She won't be until late tonight, so maybe I will just stay up and finish my diamond painting. And then I have so many to choose from on new ones. So I think I have an idea which ones I'm going to do, or which one I'm going to do, so many choices. Yeah, I'd like to know, you could also put down there, like if you have a stash of diamond paintings, how many you have that, uh, you know, stash somewhere, do you have like 20, 30, 10, because you see if you're like me, you see them and they go on sale and you're like, I'd love to have that, or I can think of so and so and they would love that as a gift. You get them on sale, and you're like, awesome. I love good bargains. Especially if I'm saving lots of money. So, uh, and then I was also thinking about doing one of the square ones eventually, too, for you guys with the square diamonds. If you're just starting out, I definitely suggest with the round diamonds. Don't, um, don't try to do the square ones yet. They're harder to, to keep in a line and straighten because the round ones you can move them around a little easier. And so that's why I suggest, and, and don't get too big a one. It's always better to get the bigger ones because you, that, that way you have all the more detail as you get better. You won't like the small ones because you'll say, well, that looks so pixely. It's not really showing what, you know, what I'm doing. And then that's when I suggest that you uh, go for the larger ones. And it'll be spring before we know it. You guys know what you're going to do for Easter? Do you guys go out of town? Do you spend time with family that already lives near you? You know, you guys can put a comment too for what you're going to do Easter. I don't even know what in the world I'm going to wear. I guess it depends if we, whether or how much rain we have. I may have to take a kayak to church. We will have to see. And so also, if you know of a diamond painting company or a diamond painting that you would be interested in seeing um, done or unboxed, you can uh, also put that down in the comment section take ideas there. Also, if I'm going to be having music on my videos, I want you to comment if you like or dislike music while we're diamond painting or why I'm giving an instruction video or an unboxing. Do you like the music or does that bother you? Just let me know in the comment box. So I try to have like music that everyone likes. Which most people like. You know, you can't always everyone, but to most people's liking. You can see it's really starting to fill in. Just one color, you're getting that much closer to getting finished. 
And I like diamond paintings, especially with the uh, bright colors. And you guys will have to let me know too if this light pad is that like bothering you as I'm doing it. Is that that harder for you to see? So you can put that in the comment box too. It's really dark out tonight, so that's why I'm using, and I've got a really dark color here that I'm putting down. It's almost like a navy blue. At least that's what it looks like to me. And I don't know if that makes it easier for you to see or if that's harder. So let me turn her off and do some, and that way you can see the difference. If you can tell if it's harder to see. See what my cameraman says. It is a lot harder. So you want me to turn up a little bit. Oh, that. Okay. Cameraman says this is the best. So we will, since he has a better eye, bird's eye view of what you guys see. And then you can just, that's a good thing about the round ones. You can like push them around a little bit if you don't get it in the exact spot, especially if you're like new at it and where your arm's just a little wobbly. It's much easier just to go back. But the good thing, I guess, with the square ones is that you'll have less space in between. You won't, it'll fill more of the holes in between and it'll look less pixely. So, but yeah, I always, I tend to go for the diamond paintings with the bright colors, vivid colors. Because I don't know, I just like bright, happy colors. They make me feel good on the inside. Can't wait to see your comments to see what you put down. See what you like, what you don't like. And see your great ideas. See what's going on in the world besides Missouri. <laughs> I live really close to um, St. Louis. So I'm getting ready to go see the Cardinals first game, the 4th of April, on opening day. I'm so excited about going to that game. Me and my daughter are going. Somebody got us tickets. That was so sweet of them. So I will have to figure out some ways to uh, make it up for those tickets they got us. I know that one of them, they needed a the person that got it. They were wanting it. A field dressing knife. Like when they go out deer hunting. That way uh, they have a good knife to dress their deer. So we will be looking for that. Thanks to an insider. Let me know where to shop for that. So if you have any uh, good ideas on what uh, knife store, let me know. I know it's kind of like a random thing to ask people, but you never know. Unless you ask. So, that's the crazy thing about diamond painting. You're just diamonding away, putting them down, and next thing you know, they're when an hour go by. <laughs> but you're like, man, I got this done. I'm so excited. Makes you feel good. Look how much we're getting done here. diamond away so with spring coming up I wonder if you're like if you guys got kids you know are your kids already having spring break or that spring break coming up I know my son's is in April mid-April so we got a little bit of time I know down there in Nixa I think they had theirs last week um, so wonder where you guys are going to go on spring break. I don't know what we're doing. I haven't decided yet. I'm sure we're going to do something. Don't know what. Maybe we'll go down to Springfield and go visit family down there. Don't know. So you could also put in the comment section of where you are going over spring break. If you have kids or even if you're adults and your kids have already grown. I know I only have one more left at home. The rest of them are all grown. So he's got one more year of school and then he will be off to college. And then I will be childless. And I have not been childless since I was uh, 19 years old. So 
so it will feel quite strange. No kids. It's already too quiet in the house since I've been down to one for a while. I don't know what I'll do. I guess I'll be doing my diamond paintings. So anyway, this is how it goes. I really do want to do a beginner's beginner's video. That way, you know, maybe sometime when I get an easier one and I, I know I've got one that's super simple that I didn't realize was not a full drill that we could do that and it would be super simple and I gotta make sure my camera's up to par because I'm gonna want somebody that's new to really understand you know a lot of people believe it or not are into crafts and so what we as crafters may understand is oh that makes sense easy you know somebody that's not a crafter but would like to do a craft where this one's very easy so they may feel intimidated. I want them not to feel intimidated. I want them to, you know, make it super simple, easy to understand. And that way it's something they can go back to if they missed a point. They can go back through it and watch it again and, and get the help that they need. So it's really looking filled up here. We're getting all that filled in there makes you feel good when it's and you want to keep it square now I've talked about it before but I'll talk about it again just in case you haven't seen my videos before when you're filling in colors like this and you have a lot to keep it more square you would do like what I call the checkerboard and I'm trying to see if there's any more of this color I can do a checkerboard but just make your colors for putting it down like you have a bunch like there's a lot of that, quite a lot. But if you had a, a lot of space, you could use a spacer or you could do um, where it looks more like a checkerboard. You know, kind of make a checkerboard and then go back in like I'm doing here and then fill in your spaces if this was a checkerboard. And that'll keep your lines in more square and more even and then you don't have to go back over and straighten them. And then I'm kind of like looking over my diamonds as I'm putting them down, making sure my diamonds are looking good. I don't see any extra plastic hanging off the side when we're cutting them. This isn't like the best kit I've had. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. So you just go in and fill in, and then that makes it more even looking good guys so if you have any questions or anything just like I said put it down there in the comment box or email me I also have a Facebook page and it is Faithy Diamond and I don't know if we got it linked up to but I hope we got it linked up we need to link that up from our YouTube page but I, um, I kind of want to make that spot too, like a kind of like a group of friendly, uh, friendly people who can show off your diamond paintings, the ones you're working on, or if you have questions too, you can post them, and other diamond uh, painters or uh, questions to me in my uh, message messenger, you can send me a message, and I can see if I can help you. If you have questions. So, uh, you need to get that linked up, and then that way you could be my friend on Facebook, too. And like I said, you'd have like a group of people all doing diamond paintings. And that way you can show off what you're doing, and I'll show off what I'm doing, and everybody else. I just want a friendly group. No bashing. You know, just keeping it nice and friendly. We got enough people chasing enough people telling everybody what they're doing wrong. We need a place where we feel like we're all accepted and we're there for a good time, hanging out, good comments, good vibes. Glad to have you. Well, anyway, I'm going to have this done. I'm going to post it out after a while. And I just want to thank you guys for uh, being on my uh, YouTube channel. And be sure to like us and uh, you know, 
make sure you subscribe to us and that way you know exactly it'll be in your mailbox of when the next one is coming out. So you guys have a great day. Be blessed. Goodbye.